Nakachwa Ruth Kasozi is a 44-year-old peer worker at Butabi Kamenta Referral Hospital. Nakachwa suffered from severe depression, which nearly claimed her life. I was in manic phase. I, it was time for exams, but I couldn't settle. Just like any other, Nakachwa's situation was never detected in the first place. First, you don't know that you have a problem. You think that's the way you're supposed to, to do things, but at the, at the end of the time, you find there's something unusual about you. Dr. Jameson Sedeko, the chief psychiatrist at Butabika Mental Referral Hospital, says a big number of people in communities are unknowingly suffering from severe depression. Between 20 to 40 percent of the people we have in here is depression. A number of circumstances trigger depression, but medics say it's quite difficult to detect it as symptoms can creep up slowly or emerge quickly. In our language here, we call it psychomotor retardation where they are so slowed down if somebody is to speak they will speak slowly you have to think about something their rate of thinking is too slow they sleep either too much or too little and um, isolation so when people are depressed, they sometimes become irritable, agitated. When detected, let it can lead to severe consequences. Or when you get a problem with your, your mind, it's very essential for you to rest. But because you have a lot of things going into your mind, you can't sleep. If it is worse and they're getting suicidal, you start to see messages of, uh, we call them suicidal notes. They talk as if they're going to be away for a long time. Though depression is treatable, most times it causes other illnesses. Whatever you hold in your mind determines how the body is going to adjust. So if you have a lot of negativity in your mind, the immunity levels will also d drop. So which gives chance to other illnesses to come and take over. Therapy sessions and skilling has helped those desperate to recover. The gold standard would be cognitive behavior therapy or interpersonal psychotherapy. But there are also other uh, treatment approaches that can be effective. But the gold standard would be cognitive behavior therapy. This is aimed at helping the person understand the relationship between uh, how they think about events around them and how the thoughts they hold determine how they feel and how the thoughts they hold determine their actions. According to research done by the World Health Organization, Uganda is ranked among the top six countries in Africa with high rates of depressive disorders, mostly affecting males. Linda Ndumwami, Samarik Sache, NBS, Live at Nine.